Hi guys, um, I thought I'd do a video. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I'm very natural today. Um, a lot of things have been going on. I think I've just been really run down and like, <coughs> I've got a bit of a cough um, and I've got an eye infection as well. So that's why I thought I'd do my YouTube video about contact lenses in. Um, this is probably the most really you're ever gonna see me. Um, I don't really like doing my videos about contact lenses because I just like wearing contact lenses. I've worn them since I was like 16 and um, I don't know, I feel like about contacts I don't feel as great or as beautiful to me but um, I, we're, we're not wearing contacts sometimes is the most comfortable thing and plus it's just good for medical reasons so um, I'm going to do a, um, a video today on the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the colour Lol Lolita and the Anastasia Beverly Hill lipstick in Sepia. <coughs> um, I love these lipsticks because, well, I love this one because it's a really nice nude for deeper skin tones. I tried this one before, I'm not really sure about it, but um, it's very, how do you say it? It's very, you have to work with it, but um, I'm gonna get some lip liners, so bear with me. Sorry about that guys, um, a lot of my lip liners are missing, like I used to have like stone or um, cork which is one of my favourites so um, I'm going to go in first with the Anastate, the uh, Kat Von D Lolita one and let me zoom in a bit for you, okay, let me zoom in a bit for you and um, yeah I'm going to go in with this one, um, I don't think I'm going to need a lip liner for this so I'll just show you what it looks like, um, I'm going to be using my new Mark Jacobs Bob Gates whoops stream with the camera just to apply this because it's much easier. There you go. Um, I feel like with this one, it just depends on yourself. Like, I don't not I don't really like wearing a lot of lip liners because sometimes I just feel like when you're eating and stuff, and like you're gonna kiss someone, or if it's just day to day, they just wear off. So I feel like it's just a bit too much. But I feel like with this one, you don't really need to wear it. It depends. I've got a quite a defined top lip anyway. But um, I'm trying to pick which one of these liners I could go with it to make it a bit more shape. Let me try this makeup for everyone. It's um, it's called Makeup Forever Aqua Lip and it's in the colour 5C. Looks like that. It doesn't have a name on it, but it's called 5C anyway and it looks quite nude. So. That's what it looks like. Hang. This actually is like a really, really good liner to match it up with. So it's just amazing. And um, a lot of people have been commenting going, oh Gary, where's your Snapchat? Um, q and A. I I actually wanted to do one but um, before I went to Dubai um, I actually posted it on my Instagram which is at the Plastic Boy and um, only two people sent me questions and I think um, I'm not sure if I didn't deliver it properly or if I should have did a video asking you guys to ask me questions but when I did a Q&A before a lot of you sent me questions so I'm just not sure really but if you guys want me to do one again add me on snapchat and send me some questions because I didn't think it was worth doing a video just for two questions you know what I mean but if you guys want me to do one shout down below okay so this is Lita I love it though it's cute so I'm going to show you which I mean which one Seppi looks like on her lips now let me just wipe this off so use some simple wipes let me wipe this off okay so I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills one and Sepia. I've always wanted this one for like ages and when I went to Dubai I actually went to the um, store she's got near the Dubai mall and they actually had this colour so I was like oh my god but when I bought it by itself yeah I was going to go out and I put it on and I thought oh shit it looks really dark my lips it looked like I had weed smoking lips like you know like the dark lips so I was like shit and then I tried to put um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Sepia. I'm going to put this on for you so you guys can see what it's like on my skin tone. Ok, 
Okay, so this is um, Anastasia Beverly Hills in Sepia, which is a liquid lipstick. It actually looks better here. I think it's the lighting. Let me, let me just make it dry. Um, there's feel really comfortable going on. And if you've seen the difference between me applying the Kat Von D one, I only needed like one um, kind of dip in for the Sepia. And for the Lolita by Kat Von D, I needed two swipes because it was just a bit thinner. But this is definitely thicker. Um, I don't think it feels that dry. Both of them don't feel very dry. Um, but it's just drying now. Actually, it looks quite nice. Um, it depends on the look. I don't. I feel like it's actually quite nice. It is nice. Let me zoom in. See? See, it's a look, but um, I feel like for me, it's very like whoa, what you got in your lips, sort of thing. So um, I'm gonna apply. Shall I apply spirit? I'm gonna apply spirit over it. It's a spirit. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna apply spirit over it just to make it a tiny bit more warmer, more pinker. Okay, I might need the liner for this. Let me go and get cheese so I can find it. That's fine. It was night moth, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of night moth very lightly. Blend that light muffin. I'm not sure if I'm feeling light muff, so I'm gonna apply a bit of spice. I'm not feeling light muff. Okay. It kind of looks purpley now, but I prefer it by itself. But um, if you wanted to, spice looks okay. Night moth was just not the one, but spice is okay. Spice is cute. It's kind of that nudie, mauvey kind of lip, but um, I do like it. But I feel like for sepia, you really have to manipulate it if you want it a bit more light or a bit more warmer. I think taupe was quite nice, but do you remember, remember the lipstick? But um. The lipstick I had, the Inkle 405. If you mix that with this, it looks amazing. I just can't find it anywhere. But I remember I did that on holiday and it looks really, really good. But let me show you how like to remove it. I think I really had problems last time. That's why when I try to remove it, it turned my lips black. So let me see if it happens while I do it on camera. Okay, it's coming up quickly now. When I tried to remove um, um, it on holiday, my lips turned black and I was panicking because it wouldn't come off. But I feel like because um, I had another lip liquid lipstick by another brand which is called Ciate and I put that on top. And I felt like mixing them together was a wrong combo. But okay, I've got one more lipstick for you guys which I found whilst I was looking for a lip liner. And so much people have asked me to review this. It's the MAC Stone. <coughs> Looks like that. To be fair, with this lipstick by itself, I do not like it, but I'll show you what it looks like by itself. See, it looks like... I look kind of ill, like, I don't like it. I don't really like it. it I don't know, I feel like with Style and Sepia, it was more a kind of like, light kind of warm tray. This one's quite cold, but obviously it's called Stone. Sorry. Obviously it's called Stone. Mm. I'm not sure, I'm not sure about it. But let me have try and apply Where's strip down. Do I have strip down? Or do I not have it? Okay, I'm gonna try and apply strip down by MAC, which is my favourite line of all time, just to see if I can do a little something certain. So strip down's kind of lightened it up. 
if you leave the outside, it kind of creates a lip liner for you. Like a kind of ombre effect. But, um, Stone's nice, but it's not for me. I don't personally like it. So, but I would wear it if I wore it with something else. But, that's with you guys. So, you've got your Liquid Lipstick by Kat Von D and Lolita. Sepia by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And Stone by MAC. So, it's kind of a mini lipstick review. Hope you guys liked it. And when you see my next video soon, I should be back to normal. Forgive me for my parents today. And, um, I'll see you guys soon. If you have any requ like, requests for me. Oh, yeah, I'm filming by a new light, by the way. It's a ring light. I've got one finally and um i'm just using it today it's by newer i'll put the link down below where to get it from i got it from amazon and um, it was like 112 pounds that includes delivery and a diffuser for it but it didn't come with a stand but i already had a stand from my previous light so i just used that and it doesn't come with a mount as well so i had to use the um, mount that i got for my video thing so whatever anyway but um hope you enjoyed the video bye